So it's pretty much informed by other people. Rock Ferry, you ask about how you survive or know when I'm going to feel the impact of this on the family. You could have been in Rock Ferry. Right. One of the things that started in the last few weeks is based at St. Peter's in Rock Ferry, which is a small pilot, and we are doing small pilots initially because the other thing is you waste money if you decide to run enormous pilot on and then they discover it's working. Small pilot with groups of parents around reading with children and with the parents together, which is a slightly different take on what is available as far as I'm aware across the country around reading with children. Because the emphasis there is on getting the parents to read as, as well as reading to your children, that's a good thing. I can tell you more about that, it won't take too long. Um, a number of the other projects running are taking referrals from particular sources. So for example, Bob Star, which is another antenatal through to service, will be taking referrals from midwives and health officers primarily. I'm, I don't actually, I can find out for you whether any of those are currently the parents being supported are not their parents. I don't have that, but I might be limited. Um, Not now, because if I'd thrown money at things very early on and all the services were running at a massive level and therefore things had been running long enough to make a difference, um, I'd have wasted money. Realistically, we'll see a difference over a number of years. This is funny for two years. I don't actually think that what we do with pregnant women now will start making a difference to their, when their unborn children are at school in the two years. I think that there has to be a realistic assumption that this is slow work. I think you would see, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm trying to be no, honest no, about no, this. No, 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 it's, 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 it's because when we start looking at short stops right at the very beginning, which is eight, nine years ago, what we were told then is you won't see the impact of this for some years down the line. The reality is it didn't necessarily see the impact of it down the line. So, that, sorry, it wasn't the best of you. Yes, yes, yes. It was no. my own memory. Yes. I, I think you can see well, you can see a short-term impact and that I should be able to report on parents who, who are taking up services. And how, how can we as a committee gauge when you actually achieve what you're taking up? What, what, what measurements are you have? You'll have measurements, a variety of measurements from things like the starting school survey and which is and the, the follow-on to that was, was funded in fact by, by, by the council, uh, but that's in development at present. So we'll, we'll test you those with every stage, because again, they're at the farther end. Um, I'll, I'll provide any amount of monitoring evidence of who we're, who we're attracting, what we're doing. But that's the thing that uh, we could do later on the agenda, you'll see that short, that we can look at yeah. the regular future. I wouldn't suggest that we have a regular future with that short. You're the one, but the fact is that if the, if the
No, no. But the, the, the project was started as a result of advice from particularly children's services and the um, children's centres that, that offer an, an, a, an intervention around the whole learning environment, which PP is, would be a suitable thing for us to deliver. We then put that out to all the voluntary organisations to deliver the family and children's support in Birkenhead currently for anyone to offer to deliver that. We also train people across the voluntary sector and the statutory centres in that, so that the, the program is used by children's centres. Children's centres can draw on their program early to the elder children now. Okay, thank you. So 
had a degree of confidence in, in asking them to deliver work. In terms of the programme, then, I've identified what some key areas have been identified. Transition, i.e. when um, children move from two adults to uh, Changes in the law mean that uh, an assessment of need for the child will, uh, will be carried through throughout life in terms of uh, parents being entitled to free support for their life. Uh, IT, uh, we need to change fundamentally how we offer advice and information in the council. We get into uh, offering financial advice as well as advice about how they can look after themselves more effectively and how they go about achieving services. So, communication and websites are absolutely critical. The world's got quite a long way to go in terms of how the website that it's going to be to make those fit for this type of change. So, web stream around finance, then there's some key changes in the care bill around people's care costs and how much that will be second and housing is in the key area where housing and well-being are in the next two changes in the area. So again, just uh, a few things very brief. In terms of those key changes, um, we are looking at the introduction of a cap on care costs. Uh, what that means is that people, regardless of their um, capital or their revenue situation, will um, have a cap on how much they uh, spend on social care uh, rather than the present situation where we can put their whole results. That's great for all people to say that uh, people are able to pass things on to their relatives. Um, but for us it means that we're going to hold the new people potentially into being supported by the local authorities and the people to pay for themselves. Small part of the market as well as so. Carers assessments change and the, um, the law around carers assessments made that much stronger so that we can expect the need to undertake a number, uh, a significantly increased number of carers assessments and also provide for their needs uh, more cohesively as well. The eligibility criteria. Um, has been looked at in terms of revised criteria. It looks like it's slightly wider than it has been previously. Perhaps um, some commentators are very, very similar to a moderate criteria that currently don't support people's needs with. But again, we look to see more eligibility criteria to more people in fact to support. Makes changes in terms of advocacy and the requirement to have advocacy in place. Um, safeguarding for adults gets into a statutory Our initial estimate that this will cost 
would you see the cost, I can say, at this point in time, uh, between 2015 and 2018, somewhere in the region of £10.5 million? Um, we do uh, have the ability as a council to charge for a number of these uh, new services, particularly uh, financial advice, uh, supporting people with cap on care costs and uh, running into the right there. Members may just have fairly full diaries. <laughs> we may be printing on a briefing every, well, not quite every week, but what well, about the scrutiny reviews and uh, so on. Good. So, 